One of the many ways that Excel allows you to plan ahead when creating workbooks and worksheets is by using functions and formulas and plugging them in in advance of the data that they're designed to calculate. Here we're looking at our automobile sales worksheet and we've got the five cities that we're tracking the dealerships in across the top. We've got the months, the calendar months of the year going down the left and it looks like we have in the range of the sheet we have data up through the end of the month of June or year to date depending on what date we're at in June. We see that the totals for each month are being calculated and presented across at the right in column H. Now I'm going to show you how we can set this up such that the functions and the formulas are in place prior to the data such that when the data is input into our sheet it will automatically be calculated and those totals will automatically appear. Um, additionally, we'll go ahead and add a totals column across the bottom where we're adding up the total number of vehicle or automobile sales for each individual dealership year to date for each city. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, all of these cells here except for the first one. So we only have the first cell in the totals column. And looking in the formula bar, we see that that's calculating the sum of the values in row B or uh, row 3, columns B through G. And that's fine. And we talked about in an earlier lesson using the auto sum icon and how to set up a simple uh, addition equation. And also we talked about the manual method of typing in the equal sign followed by the word sum and then the open parenthesis and then putting in your cell references. But I'll show you a way much easier than that. We're going to use the little fill handle at the bottom right hand corner of the cell. I know that the formula is correct and I want to go ahead and copy it all the way down that row, even beyond the point of June, which is only as far as the data goes in the sheet. I'm going to go all the way down through and including December. So I'm going to move my cursor over the bottom right hand corner, that little square object there. Notice the cursor changes from a three dimensional plus to a smaller bold plus. Right at that point, I click the left mouse button in. Holding the button in, I'm rolling the mouse downward all the way down through and including the, call, the row that includes December and I release. Notice it will calculate and add up the numbers for each of the rows that have data and for those that don't it will put a zero in there. And if I click on any of those cells I will see the corresponding formula in the formula bar. Okay now doing it like that ahead of time and then saving the spreadsheet will keep those formulas in place such that when the data is plugged in for the remaining months it will automatically update and calculate out on the right. Now we'll add a totals column across the bottom in a row. We'll, we'll create a row for totals as well. And what I'm going to do here is for the first one since I don't have a formula in here yet I'll use the auto sum. I'll click on that icon. It's going to surround for me what it believes I want to add. I'm going to just go ahead and verify that January through December and I hit enter. There's my result and that's year to date, but since I included July through December as well, as soon as I plug entries or data in there, that number will automatically update. And I can grab the little fill handle on that cell as well, and I can copy horizontally all the way across my different dealerships. And there I have the totals. And you can click in any of the cells, check your formula bar, and verify. And if you'd like, you can actually click on that argument within the formula bar and you'll see a little border around the data contained within your your equation just to verify. Now let's take a look as I add for July. Let me use an easy number so we can quickly see uh, the difference here. Say we had uh, you know pretty poor month in July 10 and as I hit my tab or my right arrow key I'm gonna see that the zero here in the column H for row number nine is gonna become 10 and the total for column B down below is going to go from 178 to 188. And here I go, tab, 178 to 188, and that has been become 10 now. So any data I add within the balance of this spreadsheet will automatically be calculated as a result of these equations having been plugged in in advance. That's one of the uh, time-saving, powerful features available to you within Excel.